thought it would be a good time to try out some filters that I just got. Uh, currently we're using a Nikon D3S. It's been modified to have the hot mirror removed and you're looking at an image with no filtering, just a 20 millimeter uh, Nikon uh, F2.8 lens and the camera. So we'll try out some different uh, hot mirrors and different filters and we'll see what you think. This is a uh, hot mirror that was recommended to me by the uh, company that does cameras removing the hot mirror. Um, I'm not real big on this one, so um, it, it's kind of like a standard hot mirror from maybe 10 years ago. I thought it was interesting to see the uh, mirror that was recommended to me is the one on the left. You can see how blue it is versus the, uh, the mirror on the right, which is the, uh, uh, Bowers, uh, the BMW 486M. Uh, and you can see that it's clear, and it does look clear to the eye as well. Um, has kind of an interesting sheen on it at certain angles. But uh, you can see what this looks like uh, versus what this looks like. So you can see the difference there. Now you might think uh, that this does nothing, but if I put this right in front of the lens, you can actually see that uh, that it does do quite a bit of of blocking. This is uh, an infrared filter. This is a uh, seven, 720 nanometer filter on the lens. So this lens, which looked clear before, if you see when I bring it up, it's, uh, it's very, very dark and it looks very, very reflective at this point. And that's actually how this works. It works by um, basically creating an interference pattern. So this is what your camera would look like if you still had the hot mirror on it. And this is what it looks like when you have the uh, hot mirror removed. You can see the difference when I put this, which is the mirror that was suggested to me. You can see it does seem to lock a little bit more. Eh, no, not really but it doesn't make your regular photos look as good and you wouldn't be using one of these with the uh, with the uh, infrared filter you would just be using the infrared filter and for those of you who want to see what a person looks like with an infrared an infrared this is what I look like in infrared and uh, maybe if I go out here into the sun a little bit you can see uh, you know uh, not too different. All right. So now I'm gonna change things up a bit. So you've seen infrared, which looks pretty cool. Now I'm gonna take a look at ultraviolet. Now this ultraviolet filter does allow some infrared through, so um, I haven't gotten the blocking. Uh, an IR blocking filter for it yet. Here's with the uh, IR filter in it. So that all is infrared light, and that's with the uh, that's with the UV light. And so you can see that the uh, the sky is a little bit blown out there. Let's see what the hot mirrors look like. Here we're going to use the uh, this is the um, original one that was suggested to me, and wow. Okay, so that's probably part of the problem is, in looking at it, it looks like it's actually letting a lot of ultraviolet light through. Let's see what happens with the hot mirror. Look at the other hot mirror. Um, oh gosh, looks about, can't really 
tell which one I like better. Looks like looks like the B and W one though is filtering out quite a bit more. Um, looking at the reflection down here versus the reflection on this. So while this is filtering out, the um, I don't think it's doing nearly as much as the uh, as this B and W filter. And for comparison, this is a uh, this is a Hoya uh, UV filter. Typically, people put these on their their lenses uh, mostly as a protection. It doesn't seem to do very much to the light. And if I put it in front here, you can see that in fact it doesn't do very much um, on this UV. So this filter that's on here is supposed to only let UV light through. And this is the filter I'm putting in front of it. It's supposed to block UV light, and you can see there's not a whole lot of difference. It's nowhere near as much as the uh, as the uh, the hot mirror here. I'm gonna put the hot mirror in front. You can see what a difference that makes. In fact, you can see that as far as the hot mirror is concerned, this UV one that's in this hand is almost non-existent. In case you want to see what somebody looked like with UV light, this is uh, a UV filter, uh, B&W 403.